Hey, fifth grade, this is going to be your spring week 15 lesson. This is your third week to record a Flipgrid video. This is your final week. I will not accept any Flipgrids recorded after this week. If you have not recorded one, then you won't get to. Um, before I go any further, I have to remind people to please show your artwork and please read the script. So I'm going to walk you in fourth grade through how to use the flip grid again. And well, here we go. All right, so fourth and fifth grade, I'm going to be using my sixth grade crew Google Classroom as my experiment for this. So when you go to your art Google Classroom, you will see that there have been at least two assignments that say Flipgrid in them. Both of those assignments have your information in there. You will see it looks something like this. And you will also say that your username will be listed here. Now your username is going to be Amana Art and then the number. So if, if you're in fourth grade, it's four. And if you're in fifth grade, it's five. But you must make sure that there is no space before or after, and you must make sure that the A's are correct, uh, uh, capitalized, excuse me. So once you're in your Flipgrid, you will hit record a response. And there you go. Uh, please remember that you can always hit this, and the information that you were going to say will actually come up on your screen. So you can read your script from here. I didn't write the scripts here because this is a test. Uh, if you were in fourth grade, please remember that you are showing me your me through the ages. Please try and show us the, the you while you are talking about it. If you are in fifth grade, remember that you are showing me one of your artists from the past, from Roberto, or Lichtenstein, or Faith Ringgold. In this case, which one was this? Anybody remember? plus your silhouette picture. So you need to have these examples seen in your artwork. I am really surprised I've gotten a few kids who have brought me, who have uh, done a flip grid without showing me artwork. Um, if you know how to add a digital copy of your picture in there, that's fine. So once you're done recording, I will be the one who approves of them or not. And I'm going to use Miss Simon's class as my example here because she's got the most students who have turned in anything to me. So when you go back to your page, you will see that some people have an active video and it will say finished video. That is me. I am the one doing that. I will review all of these and I will put them as active. So if you see yours is active and it says video finished, you're done. You don't have to record another one. If you are not on here, that is what you need to do today. This is the last week to do this project. Thank you.